Hi everybody, today I'm going to give you a little introduction to our small green computer uh, music server line. So we have uh, several different music servers, they're you know good for different things. Uh, this is our i5, it's our entry level uh, music server. Uh, this is our i7, it's our um, middle of the line music server. And this is our uh, i9, our signature music server. They actually, the, the i's and the names are the Intel processors that we use. So this does have an i5 microprocessor, this has an i7 microprocessor, this has an i9 processor. Each uh, processor is a little faster, it's a little better for upsampling, you're going to get um, faster uh, user interface, a um, little less latency in, in, your, in your playback, and then some of these have uh, some other uh, cool features too. Um, I'll, I'll start talking about them uh, one at a time next. This is our Sonic Transporter i5, um, Generation 3. Uh, you can see it's actually much smaller than um, some of our uh, older models. Uh, this case is actually milled out of a solid block of aluminum. There's two reasons for that. One, you get this nice clean look with no, um, no screws really on any of the, uh, the edges. Um, also, the entire exterior of the case is the heatsink for the for the processor. Um, this has an i5 processor. It's very fast, um, very powerful, and it does generate a little bit of heat. With this huge surface area, it doesn't even really get that warm because it's you know has so much space to to send the heat out. Um, in the back here, we have this nice little drive bay. You can see you can add your own um, uh, drive. Um, there's a few other little ports on here. Um, you know, normally you're just going to connect it to your router with a with an Ethernet cable. Uh, you can use these USB ports for like an external USB drive. Uh, you know, for music, these are actually just diagnostic ports over here. They're not used for for anything. Um, it has a nice little DC in for a 19 volt uh, external power supply. The way we keep the heat of the supply away from the processor itself. Uh, this is our workhorse. This is probably what a majority of our customers buy. Um, very powerful, lots of memory, good for upsampling, good for pretty much anything you can throw at it. It can run Rune, you know, minimum server, which is a DLNA server, um, squeeze box, could run them all at once if you wanted to. Um, great uh, general purpose music server. This is our Sonic Transporter i7. It's our uh, middle of the line uh, music server. Um, it has a faster processor than our, their i5. Uh, so, you know, it's just, Rune's just gonna run a little faster for you and, and other music apps. Uh, this also has a bunch of other uh, great little features to it. Um, it's a 19 inch rack mount. That's what these ears are for. So if you uh, have an equipment rack in your house, you can, um, you know, you can mount it there. 19 inches is standard size. Most, most rack mount equipment is that size. Uh, these ears do come off if you want to just use this as a tabletop piece of equipment. It comes with these little feet, uh, with little uh, sound isolators on them. So if you actually wanted to just put it, you know, on a table with the rest of your equipment, you can do that too. Um, it's got this huge uh, top here with all these fins. This is the cooling for the i7 processor. i7 is a, is a very fast processor, very powerful. Um, so we need, you know, a lot of cooling. Uh, but we have so much that it, you know, it doesn't even really get very warm. Um, this is a nice little pop-out uh, CD uh, drive. So you can pop this out, you drop a CD in, it takes about four minutes, it will, it will rip the, the CD to FLAC files and, and store it on your um, eternal um, hard drive. On the back here, you can see um, we have a little pull-out drive bay here. If you want to um, add your own internal SSD drive, we've also got some USB ports on here for an external USB drive or for a backup. Um, so, it's a great server if you want some of these uh, upgraded features that aren't available on, uh, on our lower models. Uh, it's a great middle of the line um, music server. So this is our new Sonic Transporter i9 Generation 2. This is our uh, signature music server. You can see it's got this nice uh, billet um, aluminum front. It's got these really big uh, cooling fins here. Uh, uh, Intel i9 processor is, is really fast. Um, it also generates a decent amount of heat. And so with these big fins, uh, the case hardly even, even gets warm, even though there's no moving parts in here. It's completely uh, passively cooled. Um, you can see on the back here, we have our nice little pop-out drive bay, so you can add your own uh, SSD drive if you want. Um, we also have this little uh, fiber Ethernet port, so you can... You could like come in on the on the regular Ethernet and then run out to your player over fiber Ethernet for noise isolation. You could actually pr probably, you know, 
hook this to your switch if you had uh, if you had fiber on a switch. Um, this is uh, uh, similar to the uh, Sonori uh, optical module uh, inside here. Um, use a 19 volt external power supply to keep the heat and the noise of the supply away from the processor itself. Uh, this particular unit is really good if you um, want to do upsampling. Um, also, every part in this is designed to be pretty much the fastest available. We're using NVMe um, SSD drives. Uh, 16 gigs of, of high-speed memory, so, you know, Rune will be really fast. Uh, very large music collections can be indexed really quickly. It's, um, it's really, really good for, you know, a top-end uh, music server.